In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Gigabyte AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT. And you might be going, why? You're crazy. <laughs> I know, I am. So let's talk about it. Okay, so the AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT. I actually bought this card back, I checked back on Newegg uh, at my uh, invoices. I bought this back on January 19th of 2022. And when this launched, there was a decent amount of hype around it because the 6600 had done so well. And it was like, all right, is this gonna be close to the 6600 when it comes down to hash rate? Now granted, the big indicator was it won't be when you take a look at it because it's four gigabyte. This was specifically made for 1080 gaming and it's only four gigs versus something like the 6600, which has enough memory that we can go ahead and mine Ethereum on it. So I bought it on January 19th and I paid $329 for this. It's insane because I just bought a 6600 to or a few days ago for 299. So if I look over on our computer here, I have Newegg up, and as you guys can see, they're selling for $100 less. So in January, we paid $329, and now in May 15th, it's already $100 less, which is crazy. So what are we doing with this card? Well, I bought the card, and I was all hyped to get it in. It took a few extra days to get in, and by then, a few major YouTubers had done some uh, content on the 6500 XT, and lo and behold, it was not very good for mining. Uh, so it was like, dang, what do I do with this thing? So I got it in, I threw it on a shelf. And the other day I was looking at it and I was like, I want to do some content on some four gig cards. What should I do it on? Perfect example for something to do it on. So this is going to be for fun. Uh, we're going to see what this will do. Now, I don't believe going back several months ago, it was back in January, I had actually posted on Twitter and run a poll to give HiveOS a hard time about that they were not going to support this card or other older card, not older cards, other cards that don't perform as well or quote, wouldn't be used for mining. So I kind of called them out on it and said, why are you dictating what people are gonna use for mining? You're just providing the platform. And we got like 2000 votes, HiveOS turned around and said, we'll start looking into supporting it. So it was like, awesome. And then I got some, some DMs from uh, HiveOS going back several months ago before the whole Ukraine-Russia um, war that was going on because HiveOS is actually based in Ukraine. And before that all went down, they sent me some screenshots showing me the 6500 being supported in HiveOS and how it was doing on like things like Ravencoin, Ethereum Classic, and on Ergo. So I don't think it was rolled into HiveOS yet, but we're going to find out today. So let's get our RX 6500 XT unboxed for the very first time. All right, let's see what we got. This is a gigabyte, so I assume it's going to be very similar to a lot of the other ones out there. Um, their models have all been very similar over the last, I'd say, year, looking rather identical to each other. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right, let's take a look. at This looks identical to my 6600s that I have, my 6600 XTs that are out there. This is super similar to that. I mean, it's literally the exact same design at the end of the day. Three fans, so it's gonna use a little more watts. Look at that, a single, hold on, I a single six pin. That is crazy. Other than that, not much more to it. I like the fact that on these designs that they're leaving on the back plate a cut out to actually give you like really good cooling. Because if you actually take a look through here, look, you have like cooling here, a giant gap. And then this cooling here, it's not actually cooling anything. So our card, literally ends right here. The rest of this is just an extended heat sink that they're using with the heat piping to go back to the die to cool the die. So this card should really run phenomenally because it literally has this entire area of the card for cooling, which is pretty nutty. But hey, kudos to them for making some changes to this thing. Okay, so Nothing too crazy. Uh, what do we got here? Look at it, even on the displays. Look, one HDMI and one display port. It's like, this is missing so much. It's so crazy. 
All right, so let's get this put onto our test bench. We have our test bench over here. Now, as you can see, we're right around 28 to 30 watts when idle. So that is something that we will use. Huge shout out to Matt Electron for providing this meter. I love this thing, it works awesome. It wires into my power supply and then it provides uh, power to the outlet so we can see the throughput when it comes down to our power. We have a 650 watt EVGA power supply. We're first gonna try this on Hive OS and see how we do. We have a Hive OS um, operating system on this solid state drive on our test bench. And then on this solid state drive, we have Windows 10. Um, so if things don't work out with HiveOS, we can at least go on Windows and uh, we'll talk about that when we get to that point. So let's get this hooked up and good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and power this off. So 28 to 30, we'll, we'll sit on 28 watts is what our usage is here. And let's get this installed in our test bench. Okay, we are booted into Hive OS currently right now on our test rig with all the flight sheet. It did show up in here, which is awesome. Radeon RX 6500 XT shows the gigabyte. Uh, it shows uh, GDDR6. Now I have two concerns. One, it doesn't show the memory type. And two, it doesn't show how many, how much memory there is. So it makes me believe that like, it's not really gonna work in mine. Um, so let's go over to our flight sheets here. Uh, and I did create one for Ravencoin, four gigs uh, there. So let's go ahead, edit that and take a look. So Ravencoin, uh, we're going to our Ravencoin Exodus wallet on Miner Pool and Team Red Miner. It's AMD. So let's go ahead, that's done. So let's apply that. And let's see if this starts mining or what it does. Okay, so we loaded up our miner. Let's go ahead and do MOTD watch. Oh, that's all we want to see. Okay, so it looks like it's failing. Failed to list OpenCL devices. Yeah, it's not recognizing it at all. Man, oh man. Yeah, it's not even able to do it. Bummer. So if we go back here, um, Ooh, let's see, what else can we do? Let's try a different miner, just to see if that brings us any difference there. So we'll try like NB miner. Let's test that out just as a Hail Mary, see if that's any different. But I assume that neither of these are going to work for the sheer factor of that the miner really doesn't understand what type of GPU we're throwing at it uh, because it's having an issue with the OpenCL. Well, let's find out. Okay, so when we look at NB miner, it's just throwing errors here. Device utilization failed, no GPU available for mining. So this thing just doesn't know what to do with that card. Ah, bummer. All right, let's um, let's boot up into Windows and see what happens. All right, we are into Windows uh, on our test PC. And what I'm actually gonna do is, I'm gonna run it on NiceHash because I really don't know where to start with this card. Uh, there isn't a lot out there on what algorithms you can run on what it'll do. So I'm gonna let NiceHash do the work. So I, I know, nice hash guys, I know. My is not my first choice, but I am not going around uh, going down the rabbit hole of trying to figure out all our Windows tweaks and settings for it. It's just gonna be easier to set up on nice hash for now. This is just a test. Don't bite off my head, just a test. So let me launch nice hash, see what algorithm nice hash is finding based off of its benchmarking. And now here's here's my recommendation. I want you to pause the video. Pause the video, tell me how much on nice hash do you think this is going to make per day? Take a guess. Pause the video, post down below in the comments. How much do you think the Radeon RX 6500 XT by Gigabyte is going to make on nice hash? We don't know what algorithm it's going to pick yet. When you're ready, unpause the video. Alrighty, miners, we have nice hash up here. This is their dashboard if you guys are not familiar with it. I'll put a link in the upper right hand corner to a nice hash video if you guys want a step by step guide on how to set this up for yourself uh, for one of your rigs or if you're looking to do this on a gaming rig or your, your editing PC uh, when you're not using it. So it does show us in here our Radeon 6500 XT shows our four gigabytes there. Uh, it does show our 99% load with 45% fans and we currently are mining Kapow which is the Ravencoin algorithm at a whopping 8.39 mega hash. Oh, nothing too, too crazy here. So were you correct? Up top here, you can see our current actual profitability per day is 35 cents. Woo, that's rough. Now, when we wanna talk about watts, 
Let's go ahead and take a look. Taking a look at our watt meter right here, we can see that we are at 150 some watts, give or take, which is a significant amount when we're talking about just one card there minus, we, what do we say, 28 there. So if we do some quick math here, 150 minus 28, 122 watts currently, which is a boatload especially now that we are also on the Raven Point algorithm, which of course is more heat intensive, uses more electric there. That is rough. Now it has changed up top. It will fluctuate. You guys can see in the upper left-hand corner that we are now up to 44 cents. So it's really going to vary uh, on, on that usage there based off of the hash rate. I'm also excited to kind of follow this along and see, all right, does it bounce to Ergo? Does it bounce to Ethereum Classic? Uh, it's really a great test. Once we can host this in HiveOS, I'm going to hit up the HiveOS team after this. Um, then I'm definitely going to be moving this over to HiveOS, uh, which would be nice. Let me show you guys the rig I want to put it in real quick here. We'll walk out into the other room and take a look here. And here is our, our uh, test rig. This is also our budget rig. We built this for $500 with our single uh, 1660 Ti in there. We've added a 1060 in there as well, and we have two slots standing by. Once HiveOS does support this, we'll add it right into this rig, and it'll be perfect to go ahead and mine over here on Ergo, on Ravencoin. I'd love to actually leave it on Ravencoin uh, and then just allow it to slowly build up our Ravencoin wallet. I think that would be a huge win. Okay, miners, so that's probably going to wrap things up for today's video on the RX 6500 XT. I could sell this thing, but really, am I going to get $229 for it? Probably not. Um, am I going to take a $100 loss on it? Uh, it's not really worth it. So for me, it's worth it just to hold on to it. Uh, I'll probably throw it honestly in our test bench on NiceHash and just let it run. Um, at the end of the day, hey, profit's profit, even if it is $0.44 cents on Bitcoin per day right now. Uh, or should I say Ravencoin getting paid out in Bitcoin? Uh, but once it's up and running and can work in Hive OS, I'd love to mine Ravencoin, Ergo, or Ethereum Classic on this card. Now, would I recommend buying one? Probably not at this point. I mean, even if you're in the market for four gig cards, there's a lot of other cards that can do the exact job that this is doing, probably even better that are a fraction of the cost. Uh, there's a lot of cards out there like RX 470s. What can you get them at right now? or RX 580s or 570s in the Radeon family that you could get, or look at something like around that price point, there's lots of other NVIDIA options as well. So it's really not worth it to buy the RX 6500 XT right now. If you're watching this in the future, it's May uh, 15th of 2022. At the current time, it's not really worth it. If you guys are interested in checking out NiceHash more, as I said, I'll put links down below, as well as into the upper right-hand corner. The link down below, I will warn you, PSA, it is an affiliate link for NiceHash. So when you do use that link, NiceHash does throw something my way. It would be greatly appreciated if you're checking out NiceHash to use that link and support the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, guys, thank you guys very much for joining me today to take a look at the Gigabyte Radeon RX 6500 XT. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.